In this section of the course, we're going to take a look at some of the options that we have when it comes to sorting and filtering data. Because this pair of extremely useful utilities really do come in handy when we're dealing with large data sets. And in this lesson, we're just going to start out by taking a look at a basic multi-column sort. So you can see here, I have a reasonably large data set. If we press control down arrow, that's going to jump us to the last row. So you can see we have just over a thousand rows of data. Control up arrow to jump to the top. Now these records have been entered in no particular order. So when I'm looking at this data set and I'm trying to extract information or interpret what I'm looking at, it's quite difficult because it's a bit all over the place. Now, one of the methods that we can use to help us organize this a bit better is sort. And you might be familiar with sorting on columns. For example, if I wanted to sort this data set by the department, I could click the drop down at the top here and choose sort A to Z or Z to A. Alternatively, I could go to the data tab and in the sort and filter group, I have options in here as well. So I can sort A to Z or Z to A. So if I sort this column A to Z, it's going to put the departments in alphabetical order. So now I have all of accounting at the top, then we move on to engineering, so on and so forth. Finance is the next one. So it groups everything together, makes it a little bit easier to read. Now I'm going to undo just to put those records back to how they were. Because what I want to do here is I want to do a multi-column sort. So I want to sort by department, then I want to sort by business unit, and then I want to sort by country. Now, if you want to sort on multiple columns, again, on the data tab, we have a big sort button just here. Now, when we click on this, it's going to open up the sort window, which allows us to sort by different columns. So the first thing I want to do here is I want to say sort by department. I want to sort on the cell values. Now, if we click the drop down, notice we have different options in here. We can sort by cell color, font color, or conditional formatting icon. And we're going to be looking at some of these in a moment. For the time being, let's just choose cell values. And then I can choose if I want to sort A to Z, Z to A, or use a custom list. And we're going to be looking at custom list in the next lesson. So I'm going to say, let's say Z to A this time. And then I can choose add a level and say, then sort by whichever column I choose. So we're going to sort by department, then by business unit on the cell values. And we'll do those Z to A as well. Let's add one more level because then I want to sort by the country. And we're going to sort those on the cell values and to keep things consistent, Z to A. So when I click on OK, you can see that's exactly what it's going to do. So it's sorting by department because we're doing Z to A, we have sales at the top. Then it's sorting by business unit. Again, we're doing Z to A and then it's sorting by country. So very easy to do a multi-column sort. Now, what if, and I'm just going to select a few rows in here and I'm just going to apply some formatting. So let's make these a light yellow color. So what if I have a spreadsheet, a data set that has rows that contain background fills? Maybe somebody has gone through this spreadsheet and they've highlighted certain records. Well, we can sort by cell background color as well. So once again, if we go to the data tab, click on sort, and I'm going to delete out the current sort that I have applied. So I'm just going to delete all of those levels. This time I'm going to add a level and I could choose any column here because the formatting runs across all columns. So let's just go for the full name. This time I want to sort on the cell color. Notice as soon as I select that, I get to choose the cell color that I want to sort on. And it will pick up on the background fills that you have applied to your data set. Now, because I only have one, that's this yellow, I can select it and then I can choose if I want the rows that have this background fill to be on the top or on the bottom. So I'm going to say on the top, let's click on OK, and it's going to sort this list based on the background fill of the cell. And this would work the same if we had font that was a different color. So let's apply some red font to these records just here. And then again, if I want to sort, I can go back to my sort dialog box 
I'm going to delete out this level. Let's add another level. I can choose any of the columns to sort by because the formatting runs across all columns. So let's go for job title. This time I can sort based on font color. And notice that it picks up that I have red font used in my workbook. And I could, if I wanted to, choose to sort these so that anything colored in red is at the bottom. Let's click on OK. And now if we press Control down arrow to jump to the bottom, we should find those records are sorted and are right at the end of the table. So very, very simple to do a multi-level sort when you're working with lots of data. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.